Hey guys, so I'm back today with this stamp set. This is Simon Says Stamp School Bus Message. It's adorable. Um, it has this big old bus as the only image. It's fairly new release and I had to grab it because I don't have a school bus stamp set and this was just too huge to pass up. It's part of the Friendly Frolic release. Um, so I've stamped out this image on some Bristol Smooth, no, 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 I have it, um, some Spectrum Noir cardstock and with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink, it's alcohol marker friendly ink, I am coloring the image very, um, it's very simple, nothing too fancy. I am using some Copic markers, which you can see the caps of the color I'm using, and I do bring in some Spectrum Noir markers to color the bus in yellow because I have more of a selection of yellow with my Spectrum Noir markers. So I wanted, this stamp set is sold out on Simon Says Stamps website, which is kind of frustrating because um, I did not check before I made this video. So I will link it below anyway. I do apologize that I didn't check. Um, it would have been pointless to do a school bus themed card once school was getting started. So I decided just to go ahead and keep it and go ahead and post the video instead of making a new one. Um, but if you, they do have an option where it says notify me when back in stock if you are really interested in getting it. Um, so sorry about that. I should be better at checking before I do a card to make sure the stamp set's in stock. I know um, I'm trying to come up with a way to do my inventory for stamps because I'm going to be doing a D stash pretty soon and it's going to be a quite big one. And I was filing some new stamps I had purchased and I had purchased a duplicate and I'm like, okay, that is starting where I'm purchasing duplicates because I don't remember what I have, which is frustrating because I don't want to waste my money like that. Um, so I'm, I'm doing an inventory of my stamps and creating a binder with stamps I have on stock and, and trying to separate them, file, um, you know, divide them, whatever, by brand and all that. And a couple of the stamp sets I have looked into have been discontinued. So I really need to get better about looking up the stamp sets to make sure they're available before doing a video. Otherwise, I've just wasted my time. So who started school? Um, the district I'm in, well, I live in, I don't work at the district. I'm, I'm, I'll be subbing this year to focus on getting on the district that I live in. Um, they started the 15th, which is crazy to me. Um, my old district I used to work at, they started today, which is Monday the 20th. And I know some school districts, they don't start till the last week. It's just crazy how early school has started started compared to when I was a kid. We used to start in September and go to the end of May, but now it's like they start mid-August and go to the beginning of June. <laughs> and teachers even start early. No more three-month summers. It's like two for teachers. So anyway, I remember when I was in junior high, we they tried a year of year-round school. That was interesting. Horrible in the summertime riding the bus. Horrible. In Houston, it's so stinking hot. But that only lasted one year. <laughs> so here I have fussy cut out the image. This does, you can't purchase a coordinating die. I do have a brother scan and cut, but with this one image, I wasn't getting up and walking across the room, God forbid. So I just cut it out. I think I did a pretty good job fussy cutting. It's quite an easy image to fussy cut. Here I'm taking a Signo jelly roll pen or Signo gel pen, not jelly roll. And I'm adding highlights. I love when people add highlights to their images, so I'm trying my best to um, add highlights in the right areas. My, you can't really see them on the glass or the bus, but um, I do like how it looks on the bumper. And going back, the yellow, I don't. I have a few um, Copic markers, so I did use my Spectrum Noir markers, like I said, to color the yellow bus. So hopefully that helps you guys that have Spectrum Noir markers. Here I'm taking the sentiment. It's a great stamp set because it has a few sentiments, but they're all buildable. So you can create a ton of different sayings. I'm stamping it out with some real red ink on some yellowish, I don't know what this is called, cardstock. And this is Doodlebug's Back to School paper pack that I found when I did my recent 
paper stash haul. I kind of was going through all the paper I had. I'm like, oh, I forgot I had this. And I'm just using some sheets from that. I decided to, you, I had these big wobbles. And uh, they're huge. And they, you don't can't really use them on most images. But on a bus, you can. So I thought, well, that would be fun if the bus had a wobble. Just to kind of add a little extra something. So here I'm just adhering the two pieces of pattern paper from that pack I chose. And then I'm going to add the wobble to the bus. I don't remember which side goes to the card or which side goes to the the image so I'm just doing whatever I think this is right the back goes to the card the solid portion I don't know but um, this is it worked out really well and the the bigger the wobble the bigger the wobble <laughs> so my bus really has a lot of wobbling going on so I go ahead and adhere my sentiment which I probably will end up tearing up and either changing or trimming up I do not like the way that yellow does not match the yellow bus. So I'll probably end up changing that. But overall, the card is adorable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, sorry the stamp set is sold out, but I will list it below. And make sure you hit notify me when back in stock on Simon Says Stamp website if you're interested. But um, let me know what you think. Good luck to everyone that's gone back to school, teachers and students. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.